As long as we're in the spirit of introducing new talent, we recently had a chance to catch one of the newest bodies in the Midwest. Dave McCauley recently won the Mr. Wisconsin Crown and is noted for his full development. That includes some of the best legs in the sport. In this Vallejo-like workout, check out this man from Dairyland. My name is David McCauley. I just won the 1992 Mr. Wisconsin, and I flew all the way down here to Venice Beach to show the boys what true leg training is all about. I always work with my calves first because I believe that working the weakest body part is always look at first. This is my first exercise, the superseding calf raises. Standing on a block, Dave performs his own variation of the standing calf raise. As with all Dave's calf exercises, he believes in keeping his feet straight ahead. Not only does this allow heavier weight to be used, but it's much safer on the knees than twisting the feet in or out. He does four sets while increasing the weight and decreasing the reps from 20 to 8 to get his calves inflated. Now that I'm done warming up for the first exercise, let's get serious and put on some real weight. My next exercise is the leg press. I go real heavy. Because if you go real heavy, your calves have no choice but to go. And if you don't think this is heavy, I brought Mr. California and Danny Hester for the ride. Do it. The leg press lends itself to heavy weight. And often Dave goes up to 1,200 pounds while training his calves. Dave is a proponent of priority training, which means working the body parts which lag behind first in each workout session. Working a body part while you're fresh in your workout will double the intensity. Again, Dave goes up in weight and down in reps for four sets. That's heavy. Our next exercise is a seated calf raise for a lot of reps. Could burn the definition. The calf sled is another of Dave's variations on standing raises. As with all calf exercises, he stretches at the bottom, then slowly raises all the way up and flexes. Dave always worked calves before legs because he says if you can train calves after legs, you didn't train legs hard enough. I'm going to do legs. I always start with leg curls. The leg says it's for Dave does his leg curls two different ways. Both the standard method, lying flat, and also supporting himself up on his forearms. These hit different areas of the hamstring. His form is strict. And Dave curls the pad all the way up to his glutes. There's no heaving or bouncing. After working up to his heaviest weight and lowest rest set, Dave often does a series of four rapid-fire drop sets, totaling 40 reps. Now that I'm done with hamstring, I'm going to go to quad, leg extension. To warm up the quad for a heavy pressing movement, Dave always begins with leg extension. By pre-fatiguing the quads, less weight is needed for the compound exercise. Thanks to training smart, Dave has never had a sports-related injury. Rather than bounce the weight up, Dave concentrates and squeezes. One look at his quads should tell you his technique works. Done warming up, we'll go to the major exercise. I usually do either squat, head squat, or leg press. We're gonna do a hack squat today. For his final leg exercise, Dave chooses between leg presses, squats, or hack squats. 
for hack squats, as with the others, he goes below parallel for a very full range of motion. Jay feels it's actually safer on the knees to go all the way down and more effective. He never does more than one pressing movement in one training session. It's three, but that's all it took to get these size and 20-inch calves in this kind of shape. I'm Dave McCauley from Muscle Magazine.